Hey yo boys, what is going on? My name is Mr. Blipschke and in this video I'm gonna give you an easy guide for building all the four elemental staffs and how to upgrade them in the map Origins from Black Ops 3. But let's jump straight into it. Now let's start off with the wind staff. Now before we can build this we need to find one yellow record and three staff pieces. The yellow record has three locations. The first possible location is inside the lightning tunnel on the left side right here. Then go to Gen 5 and on the right side of Stamina Up is also a location which was in my video. And then the third possible location is on the right side of Generator 5 right there. Now the staff pieces we can find in the robots their heads. So we need to enter all three the robots. We have one in the spawn area, we have one in the middle area and we have one in the church area. So once you've done that you should have all the three parts of the wind staff. From this point we need to pick up an elemental crystal inside the crazy place. But before entering the crazy place we need two parts for building the gramophone. We need a black record and the gramophone itself. For the record we have two locations. The first location is at the back side of the excavation and the second location is on the front side of the excavation near the MP40. Now the gramophone itself have also two locations which is inside the excavation it's right of the stable or on the left side of the stable. Head over to the wind tunnel because you are building the wind stuff. This tunnel is near Juggernaut. Go to the bottom of this tunnel and place down your gramophone on that table and a portal will open and you can enter the crazy place. Once you're in the crazy place go ahead and grab that yellow elemental crystal and go back to the main map. Now you get back at the bottom of the wind tunnel don't forget to pick back up the gramophone. Make your way back inside the excavation where you picked up the gramophone itself and place it on the table. When you place it down you will hear some music and this box will remove and you can take the stairs down where you have the build locations for all the four staffs. Now build your staff, you can pick it up and you can start upgrading it now. The first thing we need to do is go back to the crazy place. Go to the yellow teleporter and look right above you. You will see four rings with symbols on it. You have to shoot with the wind stuff the symbols in the correct order. If you do not know what the correct order is, you will see it right here in the video. If you did it correctly, you will hear a completion sound and now we need to go back to the main map. The next thing we need to do is finding three smoking chimneys around the map. The first smoking chimney is near generator 4. You see smoke coming out of the chimney pointing to a certain direction. Now we need to point the smoke towards the excavation site. When this one is done we can move on to the second chimney where we have to go to the church area and then from church towards gen 5 that mud road on the right side you will see the second chimney. Also shoot it with the wine staff until the smoke is pointing in towards the direction of the excavation. Now walk towards generator 5 and you will meet the third and last chimney. Also shoot it and when you've done it correctly you will hear again the completion sound. Now go back at the bottom of the excavation and you will find four levers. Now these levers make those 115 rings change from color. So we set all those rings on yellow. When you did that a light yellow orb will glow under the rings. Shoot it with the wind stuff and the orb will fly into the sky. And there's one more thing to do now. We need to go back to the crazy place and place down your staff where you picked up the elemental crystal. After putting the staff back we need to make 20 zombie kills and the staff will collect the souls. After we made that 20 zombie kills you can pick back up the staff and it's fully upgraded. And now jump over to the lightning staff. For this staff we're gonna need a disc, a purple disc actually and three staff pieces again. For the purple disc we have three possible locations. The first location is at generator 4 right over here on this table. The second possible location is at the corner of this trailer right here. Then the third and last possible location is inside the wind tunnel go all the way to the bottom and it will lay in there on the right side as you can see in the video where I was shooting. Now for the three staff pieces we need to take a ride with a tank. The tank will go from church towards generator 2 and in the middle of that mud road there is a place where we can jump off the tank. Now just keep watching and then you can see exactly where I jump off.
So this right here was the first area where we can grab the first staff piece for the lightning staff. Now go back to that mod road and make your way towards generator 2, go through the tank station and the tank will be parked right there. So jump on the tank and drive it again. The tank will drive from generator 2 towards the church area and we have to jump off twice now. So the first area where we can jump off is close to the excavation site. You gotta keep watching your left side. Here you see me jumping off to the second area where we can grab the second lightning staff piece. For the last piece we need to drive the tank from generator 2 to the church again. But now we need to jump off on the right side and that place is just before we enter the church area. So watch carefully where I jump off in the video. So here is the last place where we can pick up that last lightning staff piece. From this point we need the gramophone again but I already showed you in the first staff tutorial. Place the gramophone down in the specific tunnel which is in your case the lightning tunnel. Place it down again on that table, the teleporter will start building up and you can go to the crazy place. And now pick up that elemental crystal from your staff. And now go back to the bottom of the excavation and build your lightning staff. Now that you've obtained the lightning stuff, we can start upgrading it. For the first step, we need to go back to the crazy place and find the purple teleporter. You will see a few purple triangles against the wall. Now we need to shoot three times in three series. Now I'm gonna show you which numbers we have to shoot. After hearing this completion sound, you know you did it correctly. So now we can move on to the next step where we have to find 6 electric closets. Where we have to turn the buttons in the correct direction. I'm gonna show you a picture on screen with all the right directions, but before we're gonna do that, I'm gonna show where exactly the 6 electric closets are. We have one at the generator 5, we have one at the back side of the excavation, we have one at the tank station under the church. Our have we have one inside the church area on the left side of the mystery box. We have one at the area where we can enter the wind tunnel. Then we had one over by spawn. And the last one is inside the tank station near generator 2. Now I'm gonna show you in which direction we have to turn all those buttons of the electrical boxes. These are the correct directions so I recommend taking a screenshot of this picture. After you've done this step correctly we need to go back to the bottom of the excavation and we need to turn on these levers again to set those 115 rings into the color purple. Now a purple orb will spawn under the rings, we have to shoot it with the lightning stuff and then make your way back to the crazy place. Place the staff back into the purple pedestrian, make 20 zombie souls and you can pick up the upgraded light staff. And now we can jump over to the fire staff. And again we're gonna need a disc, a red disc actually and 3 staff pieces again. So the first location for the red disc is in the tank station underneath the church, right over here. The second possible location is at the chairs of the church, right over there. And the third and last possible location is on this box near generator 6. And now I'm gonna show you how to get the three staff pieces for the fire staff. Now a first possible staff piece we need to look in the air when we're walking around at the dig site and look for a yellow glowing plane. Shoot it and the staff piece will fall down on the left side of the soul box that is located near the excavation. Right over here. 
For the second staff piece, the only thing we need to do is turning on generator 6 and when it's turned on, you can grab the part in this box right over here. For the third and last staff piece, we need to kill the first spanzer that's going to spawn in. I guess that will be on round 8 or round 7, I'm not sure. Just kill the panzer and you can pick up that last part for your staff. Now we picked up all the parts, we need to go and get the gramophone again, same as the staffs before, and place it down now in the fire tunnel. That tunnel is near spawn, so go back to the crazy place and pick up your elemental crystal for your fire staff. Make your way at the bottom of the excavation and build your fire staff. And now guys, once again, time for upgrading it. For the first step we will need to go back to the crazy place, and we have to go to those four fire boxes. We need to make kills with the fire staff close to these boxes until they are all on fire. So when you have enough zombies you will hear a completion sound and you can go on to the next step. For this step we need to go inside the church and we will see some symbols on these walls as you can see in the video right now. Now each symbol means a number. So I'm gonna show in the picture right now which symbol matches with which number. So now you need to remember the symbols that you just saw on the wall from left to the right. And now make your way to the bottom floor of the church area near the tank and you will see some torches. Now you got to do the numbers in the right order which you just saw on the symbols. Now we have to do this pretty quickly or else you have to redo this step. But if you shot the correct order of numbers in time, you will hear a completion sound and we can go back to the bottom of the excavation, set the 115 rings on the color red and a red orb will spawn under the rings. You can shoot it with a fire staff and it will fly into the sky. Go back to the crazy place now, place down your staff, make 20 zombie kills and you can pick up your upgraded fire staff. And we can move on to the last one, the ice staff, where we're gonna need a blue disc and three staff pieces. For that blue disc we have three possible locations which are pretty easy. They are all inside the tank station near generator 2. So you saw me shooting all the three locations in this video right now. For finding the staff pieces itself we need to obtain a shovel. If you don't know where we can find a shovel, we have always two locations that spawn. You can find one in the lightning tunnel, you can find one in the wind tunnel and I'm not sure but I guess you can also find one under the church area near the tank. And if you have found the shovel we need to wait till around when it's snowing and when it's snowing we can start dig up the dig spots. So for the three parts we need to find, we can find one in the spawn area, so dig up the dig spots at the spawn area. Go ahead and start digging around this the excavation to find the second stuff piece. Then go to the church area and around the church area dig up some spots and you will find the third staff piece. Once again you will need the gramophone, place it down inside the ice tunnel which is near generator 6 and go inside a crazy place. And pick up your elemental crystal at the blue pedestrian. Now go back to the bottom of the excavation, build your ice stuff and pick it up. And once again boys, now we are gonna upgrade this. For the first step we need to go back to the crazy place, go to the blue teleporter and look right above you. You will see floating stones with symbols on it which we have to match with the symbol that is shown on the right side of the wall. So now I'm gonna show all the symbols that match with the other symbols. So once, once you find which symbol you have to shoot, you just have to shoot it with your eye step. Once you shoot them all correctly you will hear a completion sound and we can move on to the next step. For the next step we need to find three tombstones around the map. The first location is near the tank station at generator 2 at the back side, right over here. Shoot it with your eye staff, it will be frozen and then you have to shoot it with a regular gun. So as you can see it not works with a ray gun. The second tombstone is around the excavation on the side of generator 4. So right there, shot it with the eye staff and shoot it with a regular gun. The third and last tombstone is behind Juggernaut in that footstep print. So shoot it and shoot it with a regular gun. Now you shot all three of those, we need to go back to the bottom of the excavation. Make sure you set all those 115 rings into the color blue 
then a blue orb will appear underneath the rings, shoot it with the eye staff and you can go back to the crazy place, place down your staff, make 20 zombie kills, pick back up your staff and it will be upgraded. But anyway guys, that is how you get all the 4 staffs and how you upgrade them. Smash that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of these tutorials. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I see you next time. Peace out. Ah.